All right, in this tutorial, I'll show you how I'd go about making a mailbox. So first I'll drag this solid shape onto the screen. And right now it's 20 by 20. If you mouse over any corner, it'll tell you it's 20 by 20. I'm gonna pull on this face to make it be 40. Whoops, 40. I accidentally hit shift there for a second. Which, by the way, I should probably hold shift and get it to expand. Why not make it larger? And let's see, I'm going to click on this, make it 80, and the other one will be 40. Okay, there we go. Somehow it, it constrained to that aspect ratio, maybe because I started the pull with the shift button pulled down. So um, anyways, holding shift constrains to the aspect ratio that you started with. So there we go. We got this. Now we'll drag this cylinder shape and I want to rotate it right away. So I'm just going to pull on this. I'm going to hold shift while I turn it. That way it's, it, you know, will only go 45, zero or 90. 90 is what I want. And then I think I want to pull this out to where, whoops. Uh, I want to pull on this corner to where it's basically uh, 40 wide there. So I got 40. But I need to make, the, make this 80 so it matches the, uh oh, okay, I need to click off and uh, click this, make this 40. Let's see what that does. Okay, and I need to make the height. I don't usually do it this way, but 40. So basically we got 40 in vertical and horizontal directions, but in, in terms of length, we got 80. So it matches the size of this, but it's a cylinder. Okay, so now if I arrow key over, um, actually probably the smarter way to do it is to select both of them and just hit align and let it align them. So now the cylinder is inside the, uh, the rectangle, but you can see it's not aligned in this direction. If I hit that button, it will align them properly. So just so we can see what's going on, I'm going to select both of them and turn them into holes so you can see better what's going on. And, uh, and let's see, I want to, I actually want to click on, I wonder if this will let me pull up on the cylinder. No, it's, 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 uh, adjusting the square. So I think actually here's a good opportunity to hide the square by clicking that little light bulb. And then I will pull on this to lift it up. And I don't know exactly how far it's, uh, what is it? 20 tall. Yeah, that might be too tall. Let's unhide by hitting this. We'll unhide that. Um, that might be a little too tall. So I'm going to click on the cylinder. And if you hold control and do at down arrow, it will... Um, actually, I guess that... I'm just looking at that right there. I would guess that this is kind of tall for a mailbox. So I'm going to click on the square and bring it down to let's say 40. So I'm going to click right here. Excuse me. It already says 40, 30. So that brings it down. Now I can bring down the, uh, the cylinder such that it doesn't look too tall. So that's good. Now I'll select both of them and turn them into solids and group them. <coughs> so now we've got our basic mailbox shape it's time to hollow it out. So I'm going to hit control D and then I'm going to pull down on this while holding shift. Very important to hold shift. 48 is probably good. I'm going to now select both of them and turn them into holes again so I can see what's going on. You can see there's a little space up top. There's nothing underneath though. And that's a problem. So I'm going to, once again, I'm going to click off. I'm going to click the outer and hide it so that I can click on the middle and bring it up at least one pixel. Then I'll click off and I'll click uh, hide show or whatever, or show all. Yeah. So now we can see that we got th some thin walls and even underneath, there's a little bit of space. Let me zoom in so you can see that. There's a little bit of space. So there's a floor in other words. All right, so I'm gonna click off and I'm gonna click just the outside and tell it to be solid. And now uh, let's see if I, I guess I can hit F so it gives me a nice perspective. So it's time to group them. And 
that will cause the inside that's uh, negative space to hollow it out. And now what I want to do is I want to have a door on the front. So interestingly enough, I, I tend to like to do it this way. Click on it, hit control D and then arrow key to the left. And if you want that to go faster, hold shift, it'll jump bigger jumps. And now we've got duplicates and they're both hollow. And if you don't believe me, I guess you could take a bite out of them by putting this here and hitting, selecting everything and hitting group. This is just to prove that it's empty. Yeah, so they're hollowed out. Now I'm gonna hit control Z because I actually don't want to do that. I'm gonna get rid of that. But what we're gonna do now is um, something similar. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna keep the right edge of this as my door and then I'm going to cut off the door on the other one. So observe, I'm going to drag this until it matches up to where you can see there's just a little bit of, you know, space left there. I'm going to make it taller so it gets rid of the entire back end, but keeps the front end here. So I'm going to select these two. All you have to do is select, uh, you know, cross over both of them and it will select them. And let me also make sure it's not, ah, uh, that would be a problem right there. So before I do this, I better um, click on the empty space, move it out there. Now, now we're in business. So I'm gonna grab both of those, hit group. And that's exactly what I was hoping. It would just cut off the front end. And um, gosh, you know, I could actually just use this as uh, the empty space I could, click on it, hit control D and then arrow key to the left. I was holding shift there for a second. That's why it jumped so fast. And while it's sitting right here, I could turn it into a hole. That way it basically cuts the face off of this. So I'm going to select those and hit group. And now, oops, doesn't look like it was quite thick enough. So let me undo that. And before I group them, let me click on this and make it a little bit thicker. So um, let me zoom in. Eh, hold on here. Just need to get a hold of that handle right there. So right now it's only one pixel thick, and we need it to be about two. Is it going to let me? No. There. You see that, how it turned red? There, now I've got there. So, so making it two pixels thick should solve my problem. Uh, let me go back out by hitting F. Remember to hit F when you have something selected and it'll give you a better view of it. So now I'm gonna select those two, hit group, and it should take a bite out of it. Excellent, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Now, uh, this should still be in alignment with that. I can just move it right over and put on the front there. Uh, it is a little bit, there is a little tiny bit of space, so I'm going to arrow key left. And then I'm going to click right here. Um, yeah, and I'm going to hold shift, or not. I won't hold shift, I'll just do that. And then I'm going to hit D so it drops down, and then I'm going to right arrow, right key, arrow it over, and stop right there so it looks kind of partially open. That's good. Now I'll group them both so that they're sort of locked together. And now it's time to make uh, some of the extra amenities, if you will. Uh, I think I'll lift this up and back away. And we'll grab this to make a post. I'm going to do it off to the side real quick. And let's see. And I'm not sure if that's... Well, I do want to make it skinnier, I think. And I'll go ahead and bring it underneath. So taking a look, let's align these so that they center. So I've basically just selected them and I'm going to hit this. And then if you click this, it'll center them. And then I might as well center them in this direction too. Whoops. Let me select them again uh, and hit align. Yeah, that's not going to actually work because this is sticking out so far. So I'm just going to click on this and left arrow key till it looks better. Yeah, that's that's better. 
And then let me look and make sure that it's doesn't have a lot of space or anything between. It looks like it's touching, but it's not protruding inside, so that's good. So I guess you could say that takes care of my post, unless you wanted to make it taller, which wouldn't be hard. I could just back away, click on this, bring it up, then click on this and make that taller. And as soon as I see it punch through, I back off. Yeah. That's probably good. Now, let's build a... Let's make a flag for the side. So, probably a good opportunity to drag a new work plane temporarily onto the side. And you can just see what that does. That kind of temporarily pretends that that is the, you know, the working surface. And that allows me to drag this right here. And I think I'll change the color. Black or something. And make it skinnier. And not so deep. And bring it up. And maybe the whole thing, I'm going to arrow key a little bit. Yeah. Arrow key is my friend. And probably make it skinnier. Like one. Yeah. And how about dropping this here. And I'll shrink it by holding shift. And arrow key over. And let's see if we can get it centered. Uh, looks like it doesn't want to center because of the increment. So I'm going to go 0.5 over here. And that should help there. And then I'm going to click hole. And hopefully it's not punching through. Let me make sure it's not punching through there. If I hit D, it should drop down. Yeah. So if I then... While I'm holding shift, select this so that they're both selected. If I group them, it's not exactly giving me the chance to group them. I didn't want to do that. I just accidentally grabbed onto the entire uh, mailbox. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hold shift so I can select that too. Okay, now it's letting me group them. All I wanted to do was punch a hole in it like that. So now let's cruise up here and drag what will be a flag. Um, drag it down. Make it not so thick. Let's see, one is good. I'm going to just click here and hit one. Enter. And maybe not so long. Maybe more like that. And if I really wanted to get fancy, I could bring a whole space over here and rotate it. Let me see, just slightly, bring it down, yeah, and then I'll, while it's selected, I'll also select this red piece and group them, and that's what I was hoping it would do, is combine them. Now I'll select the flag and the, um, the base of the flag, and back away. And now we've got a little flag that pops up whenever the mailman needs to know that there's something in there. And let's get back to the normal work plane. You can see the nor normal work plane's down there, so I'm just going to drag it down there and drop it. And we're back to our original view. And that's how I would go about making a mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.